Hello everyone, I've just realised that I just deleted the first clip of this video so that now has no intro so I will intro it again. Basically this is just a few days with me, it's kind of fun, I just eat and go about my daily tasks but it's a cute wee video, yeah just a sort of few days in the life. Um, I I've just been to take a photo. Guys, I have to quickly show this has one minute of footage left. But I just have to quickly show you what I had for my breakfast from Cotton Rake on uh, Great Western Road. I just walked around because I had to get some content. So I had my breakfast while I was there. Look at that rhubarb granola. I can't cope. It was unbelievable. Anyway, I'm getting ready now to go out for my friend's birthday. We're gonna go for lunch. Um so I just thought I'd quickly insert this clip here. So yeah, enjoy this video. Okay, so I definitely used too small of a bowl, but let me show you under here. So it's like a berry compote with Greek yogurt and, well, this is like a coconut yogurt and some chopped um, apples and granola and these wee nuts or pecans. I drizzled honey over the top as well. There's a few pecans. The berry compote is actually a pot with berries. Shred some lemon zest on it, squeeze some lemon in, and then, oh, lemon juice. And it is unbelievable. Right, I'm gonna enjoy this. I have to share these cookies I made last night. They're all amazing cookies. Um, and I just put some wee dark chocolate chips on them. Someone must have come through during the night and had a wee nibble on that one, and it wasn't me. Um, and there's some salt on top, and honestly, they're amazing. I'm gonna reheat them and have them tonight. Guys, forgot to bring my camera, but I'm now dressed for the day. I had some videos to film, so I couldn't really show you that. I'm now at Silverburn, and I'm going to go for a wee Nando's. My friend Kirsty is off for, she's a teacher, so she's off for the Easter holidays, and she had stuff to take back to Silverburn, so she was like, do you want to just get a Nando's? And I was like, I would seriously love a Nando's salad. I'm craving one. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I feel like I look really silly, but my hair was so bad. <laughs> but I don't want to scrape it back, because I have videos to film later as well for work. Um, anyway, that's how we're burnt. I'm going to go in and get some lunch. Hello. I'm back from, oh how is the battery low and I've just been charging it all that time? Well, that's confusing. Um, I am just back from, well actually I've been back a while but I've been doing some wee admin stuff. Um, yeah, I'm just back and I was just doing some work on my phone and I had the boys out just for a quick wee pee. But this is a really exciting, fun part of the video because I have some stuff from Adenola. I'm not joking, when this job came through, I literally text, I think, four different people to let them know. Because if you know me, I am an Adenola shopper. I have reminders set for things coming back in stock. I know when they do new campaigns and new stuff comes out, I'm all over it. I have Honestly, I am speaking as a customer. I love their their stuff. Like, I have all their hoodies, I have all their leggings, and they're perfect for short girls. Their bralettes, it's all I wear to Pilates. Literally my favourite, favourite brand. And they want to work with me! I'm such a loyal customer, so I'm so excited about it. Um, I do have a code. <laughs> I do have a code. And this video is kindly sponsored by Adenola. So the code is Molly McFarlane free ship that will get you free UK next day delivery from Adenola seven days from this video going live. So when this video goes live, it'll be up for a week basically. Um, I'm going to show you a couple of bits that I've got and I'll try them on and I'll show you. Um, my hair is in this bun and hat situation for a reason because my hair is needing a wash but I'm getting my hair done in the morning, my colour done. So like who wants to wash their hair before the hairdresser, especially when your own mum is doing it, not me. Um, so I'm going to show you the stuff I've got and we can discuss. I have um, the most gorgeous bits. I tried to like pick some things that I didn't have from Adenola, which was pretty hard because I literally have so much of their stuff. Or like get it in another colour because I know that I like it. And then I also picked up um, a few things that I have already, but like I've just had for ages and I just wanted. To. Sometimes, do you know when you have like a really good vest top and you just love it and you want a couple of them because if one's in the wash you want to wear it again? That sort of that is the sort of situation. Um, so I will quickly tidy up, clear this space and why is this camera out of battery? I don't get it. 
I'm not joking guys, I've been charging this camera the full time I've been out. What is going on? Right, I'll need to give it some more charge. Okay, so this is the first full look. As I showed you, I have my wee cap on. I don't know, I have so many nice caps. Um, they have that like classic green one that's so gorgeous, but it was out of stock. Went for this, absolutely love it. I feel like it really goes with my colouring and it goes so nice with navy. So the, the writing on here is actually black, but the outfit is navy. So I went for, Sunny's going crazy on the floor, can you see him? Um, so I went for the navy um, tracksuit and I got it in a size medium. So I actually have tracksuits in a size small for Madanola, but I just wanted to try the medium and I actually really like how nice and oversized it is. It's really, really comfortable. This is the oversized jumper. I absolutely love it. And then the gorgeous wee, and then the gorgeous wee um, joggies. They are so nice, so comfortable. Gorgeous material and all that. He's going crazy over there. What the absolute hell? Excuse me. Are you okay? You embarrassed now? But yeah, I've just styled them with these wee Asics trainers and then this wee hat. That's all kept it super simple, all Adenola, really cute. Sorry guys, I feel like that was such a chaotic clip, but I'm just going to show you them, like hold them up and insert a clip of me wearing them because the camera was just not functioning. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm going to show you. So we have these gorgeous, you can see here this wee detail close up. There we go. These gorgeous like wide leg flared trousers that I will show you on. I've actually got them in the grey and I've not had them off so I did. Or did I? Yeah, I picked up another pair because I feel like every time I want to wear them I'm like oh they're in the washing because I was wearing them yesterday so I got another pair. And I paired that with this gorgeous wee padded top. It's like the wee um like Zara vest you get but it's much nicer neckline and it says Adam on the back which is super cute I absolutely love this on and I love this colour of grey I think it's so nice with a tan and then I paired it with this lovely Adenola wrap why did I say Adenola obviously it's Adenola with this wee wrap that I have literally not had off in the cream my Pilates teacher loves it um, it's the cutest thing ever it's so flattering and I feel like that is also really nice with black leggings like an all black look as well um, the wee cream one that I have would also be cute with jeans and like a wee lacy top underneath too. I also got this cord which is like a wee stretchy grey material here and it's got like this lovely neckline that's quite, quite high up as you can see. It's so fitted again could wear that to Pilates um, with like leggings or whatever as well. Then we've got these wee fold down trousers like so they are really really nice perfect length not too long by the way for the short girls which we love and um, compare them with like uggs or trainers i just feel like this outfit alone with like a big oversized leather jacket is also so cute what else do we have oh my god the adenola socks guys they're the best socks in the world i've got the black the nice cream color and the white i'm not joking my full drawer is full of the socks like all i wear is adenola socks then we have the same wee top but in the white which is really really cute I really like that it's a gorgeous um, fit and lovely colour the big Adenola sweatshirt which I absolutely love if not sweatshirt big oversized t-shirt I do have this top and I think I got it in the small but I've got it in the white so I got the grey and I got it in the medium so it's a bit more oversized because I just wanted to kind of mix up and change how I would wear them and this one's cute with like leggings and stuff or just joggies as well I actually paired it really nicely with the white leg trousers because I thought what a cool baggy outfit with like some sambas or like the speziales or gazelles or whatever. I just think a nice baggy outfit. Also this colour of grey. Perfection. Absolute perfection. Also this has the same detail as the black ones like this wee thing that have the like boxers. Super low rise and cosy. I've been actually wearing them um, and like non-stop the grey ones with everything. Last but not least we have this gorgeous other tracksuit here as you can see stunning I absolutely love this tracksuit I'm gonna wear this to the hairdressers in the morning gorgeous kind of like like Jurassic Park color do you know what I mean by that Jurassic Park color like shut your eyes instantly um no not Jurassic Park <laughs> not Jurassic Park <laughs> what's it called Indiana Jones Indiana Jones beige that's what this is kind of beige khaki color and I got, what size did I get this one in? I think I also got that in the medium. Yeah, I wanted oversized. And then the hoodie, I got the actual hoodie version of this one. And I really like the back too, it's super cute. 
oversized and comfy, perfect for travel. I'm going to wear this to go to Copenhagen actually because I feel like that would be really cute and cosy on the flight. I'm always looking for a tote bag and one that isn't too big but has long straps so this can fit loads in it. And I actually have one of the Adamola bags that I've worn to death. I've actually put it in the wash before because I was wearing it to the beach for so long and it had like sun cream in it and like oils, whatever, it was a bit messy. So I just thought I'm going to pick up another one in a different print and I absolutely love this one. It goes with everything. So I hope you like this wee section of the video. I would honestly like to reiterate how much this means to me as an Adanola customer. I'm really, really excited by it and I love this brand so much. So thank you so much for spo sponsoring this part of the video. I'm going to be wearing Adanola throughout the video so you can keep up and see how I've styled different items. Um, but yeah, thank you again and thank you to my followers for making this happen because I do so well, if I do say so myself, in swipe ups for Adenola. Like my affiliate links and my link clicks for Adenola just slay above any other brand. So I'm like, how cool for me that I actually did this. I actually, I worked closely with this brand because I, I bought this brand because I loved them so much and you guys love seeing me wear them. It's such an authentic relationship that we've built and I've managed to get this job through my obsession with clothes and styling them and then the link clicks done so well that the brand wants to work with me. Honour. Anyway, I'm going to go um, tidy up the living room and have some dinner. Do you want to see what I'm having for dinner? You guys can join me. Robbie's coming over as well. Maybe he'll be in the vlog. Here's our dinner. So this is we whose looks better, mine looks better than yours. Um quinoa rice. Quinoa and rice actually and pomegranate and then this wee chili oil that I love. The chili oil's on that as well, Robbie. And broccoli he's dying to eat, just eat it. Mm. Just eat it. And then salmon with soy and ginger and chili on it and just some broccoli. Guys, you just really hyped up my dinner, you're a bit negative tonight. Not amazing. As you could probably hear me eating. Oh. That was amazing, Chanky. <laughs> what would you rate it? Uh, a nine. What was missing? Nothing. Do you want a cookie when you get back? Um, yeah. Yeah, please. Hey guys, I am going to the salon to get my hair done thank the lord my hair like desperately needs wash but i've been like waiting so that someone can wash it in the salon for me i've got my adenola tracksuit on and then i've got a big t-shirt underneath the big oversized adenola sport one i'm so cozy and comfy for the salon because i'll be sitting there a while i actually have so much to do today so i really need to get this going and i might get a coffee on the way there um yeah, I'm like paranoid about how much I have to do before 1.30. Wish me luck. Guys, it's always classical music in here, always. Oh, let me move that over a bit. Set it there. Perfect, that's what I wanted. Radio set to it. By the way, this is an Adonola jacket. I don't know if it's in stock at the moment on the website. However, it is something, the dog blank in the back. Um, however, it's something I, quite literally wear every day, no exaggeration, like I absolutely love this jacket, I never have it off, I feel like he's looking at me filming, oh my god, anyway, um, but yeah, this is the best purchase I've made this year, in fact, I got this last year, I got it in like November, and I'm not joking, I've worn it every single day since, and it doesn't even look like it's been worn, I've not had to wash it or anything yet, um, but I feel like when I put it away for summer, I will give it a wee wash, but it is honestly perfect condition. My favourite jacket I've literally ever owned. Go get a coffee now, or do I get one in bar heads? I think I want to get one in bar heads because I'm not really in the mood yet. I had the worst breakfast ever. Um, not ever, actually, a bit dramatic. Sorry about that. Um, but I had like Marks and Spencer's um, like seeded bread, like that's my favourite and it was honest, I got it yesterday and it was honestly hard and it was just putting me off so I had scrambled egg and toast and I literally had the cap of it just because I was hungry and then I just couldn't eat it. I really didn't like my beds for some reason. Anyway, um, 
I forgot to film that, but it was literally so early because I had to film some stuff this morning, just like here down in Woodland, you know. Um, Lily actually said she would do my eyebrows well as well, so I feel like that'll make me feel better. I'm just not loving my appearance in this viewfinder right now, but we can turn things around. Um, let's put some music on. Aren't you really supposed to know this shit? Feel it in your bones and all that shit and make it worse for you Why is this the best song, like, to ever exist? It is so feel good and summery and happy And they're all Irish dancing through Derry with Orla Oh, it's the best ever! I love Derry girls I, oh my god, Casper What are you doing here? Um. I uh, ordered two iced, not, you know the ice brown sugar oat shaking things, they do a toasted vanilla version. I had a bit of a hair rejig, my hair was doing my nothing. Um, yeah, I've ordered two of them, one for my mum. Mum's always on crazy diets though, so I don't know if she'll want this. Actually, it's dairy free, so she'll have it. Um, yeah, just ordered them in the queue to pick them up now. Do you know what podcast I absolutely love, guys? Your five minute call with Amber Davies. She always has all the West End stars on, you know, that's right up my street. Guys, I've not been to a show in ages and I didn't even go and see Hamilton. She's not had the time. The next show I have booked is October. I'm not good enough. I'll need to book some. I'll need to see what's available. I'll just go myself as we be. But I'm going to see the Book of Mormon with my family. You know, I've already actually seen it. I feel like I've told you guys that. I vlogged that, didn't I? Um, but I'm going with my whole family. I got them all tickets. I thought that's a good Christmas present. Like, I'll just get them all that. And Robbie actually loved it, so I'm taking him again. And Charlie hasn't seen it, so I got him one as well. But expensive tickets, to be honest. <laughs> I'm taking literally everyone, but I'm buzzing. Right, that cut me off there. Um, but I'm going to the salon now, so I'll film some clips in there of me getting my hair done. Hello. I'm returning with fresh hair quite a bit later on. Um, I just got my hair kind of like blasted so it was like really, really curly. So I had to kind of straighten it. I'm still in the middle of it. Um, but also clearly got my eyebrows done. They're like blocks right now, but tint just doesn't really last on me. So I always get them quite dark so it lasts. I'm going to Copenhagen at the weekend so I kind of wanted it to last um, but yeah here is the new hair it's so blonde I've not really shown up on camera but it's honestly so blonde for me the blondest I've had my hair in years but I'm currently just having some some grapes um, I needed a wee snack while I've done this I'm watching Jersey Shore Family Reunion Guys, it's so good. They just get as drunk as they used to back in the day. And they argue as much as they used to back in the day. I love it. Mm. I've had a really productive day. I've got a lot of work done. And I got my carpet cleaned. Which I'm honestly buzzing about. I've got all my carpets cleaned and my couch cleaned. So the boys are not allowed on it right now and they're literally sitting in any spot they can find that isn't the couch and avoiding their beds for some reason. So weird. But anyway, like see because I've just had my hair coloured, it's like unbelievably dry. So it's just really frizzy. So I'm trying to smooth it out best I can. Um, I have a few orders that arrived while I was away so I thought I would show you. A couple of Zara things ordered. Oh actually there's a wee ASOS parcel sitting there as well. Anyway, I'll finish my hair and then I'll show you um, when it's all when it's all done. But also, I'll, I got a new bottle of the Jisoo oil. So I'm so excited to open this and put it on my face. I actually can't with how dark my eyebrows are. They're honestly more extreme on camera and also because I'm super pale. I don't have like a fresh layer of tan or anything on. So I'm doing like, do like a bit crazy. But I was thinking earlier, I could do some skincare tonight talk you through my nighttime skincare routine just now. It was quite intense but it's fun. Hair is done. It's actually getting quite long because I had it really short last time I was in the salon but it's getting like pretty long again but I have preferred this length, this sort of mid length because I can actually do more with it. 
like I can still cut it like this even if it was a bit shorter it was harder to like style but I love the colour I'm so happy with it mum's done an amazing job oh ASOS I got one's my friend's birthday present so I'll just keep that over there because her birthday isn't until the 14th so I don't know if she's going to open it before then do you know what I mean I don't want to ruin it so I've got these shorts that my friend, whose birthday it actually is, told me about them. She was like, Molly will love them. So they're like wee bloomer kind of shorts, like wee cute layered ones. And I'm going to Mallorca at the end of May, so I thought they would be perfect. But also if it gets sunnier here, them and like a big hoodie or something would be cool. Or like a big knit or a cardigan and these and like cowboy boots, cool outfit. So I got that. And then I seen these. These are actually collusion. Sorry if it's kind of noisy, it's just the windows open, it was really hot in here. Um house okay they look kind of big for me mm, should have got an extra small that's annoying um but they are like we cute trim jersey shorts i mean i could i could just turn them can and then it would make them like mini shorts which is fun um sometimes i just never know what size i am on the bottom half like i'm petite and like i'm short but like i'm not like i'm not, like thin do you know what i mean i never know what size to get I'm in between sizes on every single website at this point. Then I got some bits from Zara. Zara is just unbelievable just now. So I picked up some stuff. I got this wee cap. Let's try it on. Okay, my hair looks like a wig in this, but look, really nice colour. Love her. Okay, we'll keep her on for the duration. Um, I think this wee top and her stuff is so fun. Like, just imagine that with a pair of denim shorts. It's got sequin all over it. And it looks like a wee DIY, like, Y2K vibe. And I just thought, that is so fun. I have to have. Then, I had my eye on these for a while. Um, again, I should have maybe got the extra small because they do look a wee bit big for me. Um, but I got these wee, like, mini, mini shorts. It's like a skirt. But, like, the trousers kind of hang, the short bit actually hang at the bottom. And I have this over the show, like, um off the shoulder top that I thought it would be cute with from Zara. So I thought that I've got a lot coming up and a lot going on like personally like personally like I mean like social plans personally so I've just got quite a few bits for different things. I'm going away twice so I just thought let's get some stuff, some cool new outfits. I just feel like when I do Zara like posts and stuff they do so well for me as well so that's like something I always invest in my business I'm like get more Zara stuff because then your engagement's up and your link clicks it up and then it means you can work with the best brands business minded um so this is like a wee uh cardigan um that ties in the middle but it comes with like a top you do buy them separately but it was they were styled together on the website and I thought they were really cute and the style is this like crinkly like messy style this is a wee t-shirt that you wear under it and then like the wee the wee shrug and then it comes with like wee see-through like mini shorts so they look minuscule they're small um with like wee mini shorts and i thought but, like, cool spanks or something under them and then like cowboy boots are such a cool outfit but equally you could wear all of those items separately but i just thought such a lovely color of blush that i think will all look really cute together is that everything that was in here I don't know, I didn't show you my favourite bit. This is like a big, like, a fold over um, collar thing cardigan and it buttons up the middle. Gorgeous, gorgeous sleeves. It's got these stunning wee buttons. They're like wee hammered, like crushed metal buttons um, in gold. And I honestly have so many ideas of how I'm going to style that. Um, when I like a striped Zara cardigan, I wear it to death. Like, I have one from years ago to screen and I have wore it millions of times i'm not joking then we have this one sunny does this new thing where someone comes to the door he barks obviously when people come to the door and then i'll bring the parcel in and he thinks it's like dangerous whatever I brought in and he starts biting it and i turn around and i was like what the hell are you doing usually i'll just take it away from him and then i'll say no no and then he knows not to do it but like i just didn't catch him this time and he got both corners but it's fine because the clothes aren't damaged and he's trying to protect me you know so funny because like Sunny doesn't chew up like anything like you get like he's just not interested in like toys and stuff but when it's random things like this he loves it okay I got this stunning 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 like wee floral print dress it just goes straight down it's like kind of 
lace trim at the bottom here. It's maxi, it's so gorgeous, seen it on the website and I got that in an extra small. Um, <coughs> again, I just thought that would be so cute to dress up or down. Like, imagine like a big net cardigan or jumper over that and you wear it as a skirt with boots, like cowboy boots or just like chunky boots. Or you could equally wear it with trainers and like a nice wee lacy cardigan. But again, you could literally wear that to like, that is so wedding vibes, like someone, if you were um, the bride obviously, um, you could wear that. <coughs> Um, to any like bridal celebrations or I just think it's so gorgeous you could definitely dress it up or down then I seen this wrap over and I loved this I thought how cute with wee sambas and a blazer it's this wee like crossover lace like lace trim around here tight the side oh, wee just mini dress and it, it looks gorgeous on the model I just hope that it's not too long for me because I like wee mini dresses to be pretty short I also got this because I've got one that I actually got in a Malaga market that's quite similar but the buckle is just really really big and it's fun for like cool like exaggerated outfits but see if I wanted to wear one here with just something like like even that white dress like this I want it to be more understated so I thought this one was lovely from it's 100% leather fun fact um, yeah I got this from Zara as well and I have a pair of jeans This gorgeous shell necklace, I absolutely love this. It's quite chokery, it's quite high up. I thought that was cool. It would also be cool with that white dress, I think. Um, and then this was like such a fun piece, I literally can't wait for it to arrive. So it's like a wee tiny mini like scarf. So you wrap it around in two bits, like hang down. But I just thought, how chic with like an off the shoulder top or just a plain white wee vest and like black jeans in this. So cool. Speaking of black jeans, I needed a new pair. There's this really specific pair that I was making in my head. I was like, they need to be baggy and low rise. They need to go with like really cropped tops, but I don't want them to be too low rise. I don't want them to be tight, and I want them to be straight. Like Zara had them, thank God. So I got them. How cool are they? Oversized washed black jeans, and you can just like wear them sort of like on your hip. And they are. I always think that Zara jeans aren't. Zara trousers ridiculously long. Zara jeans aren't too long for me. Well, they're they're long, but they're not too long for me, which is good. And then the last thing I got is this gorgeous wee shirt. Again, with both the black jeans with the wee vest top. But it's the quality of this is just so gorgeous. The buttons. Look at them. How gorgeous are those buttons? I can't cope. I'm so obsessed with like a button detail and things. But I thought this was really, really nice for like over bikinis and stuff, but equally perfect for the weather just now where it's not too cold, not too warm. You could wear a wee shirt over like a t-shirt or like even with that wee dress, like the wee mini dress, that was cute. So I just picked up some things for all my upcoming plans and um, parties and events that I have coming up. Um, yeah, that's the stuff that's arrived. The rest of the stuff is just PR, like work stuff that I have to shoot with that I'll be doing tomorrow. Um, what else do I have to do? Right, I'm going to I'm going to apply this oil actually before I forget. Um, I'm going to make dinner for about seven, so it's six o'clock right now. I'll quickly take the boys out for a pee. Even though I'm not joking, I had those dogs out all afternoon. Like we literally walked and walked and walked. It was just like when the carpet cleaner was in I wanted to be out of the house to just make sure they had enough space and the dogs weren't annoying them and they weren't in the way and like so I just went I went met my cousin Charlie and we had a wee bit of lunch in his we got the juicy tuna caddo it's so nice by the way um oh my god this is like saving how dry my hair feels wow what is in that Jesus oil? I swear to God, it's magical. Wow. By the way, with the amount of Adenola stuff I have, expect me to be wearing that for the rest of my life. I'm so buzzing with like all my new Adenola bits. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go out another walk with Charlie and Amber, my cousin and his girlfriend, and I might suggest to them that we get a wee ice cream on the journey. Or they could come back here and I could make them that wee Megan McKenna ice cream. Oh, I feel like I actually couldn't even turn the camera on earlier when I left the salon and when I was in the salon because well, I did turn it on and I just thought, no, I can't even look at myself. Like when I was sitting there with the foils and pale as fuck and then like I just thought I can't like 
everyone gets those days where they just like don't want to look at themselves i was really struggling with myself today and i thought do your hair and go back on camera finish this vlog because i film all the time and don't use the footage because i look back and i don't like it and i was like no let's be nice this is what i do my current lock screen is myself and i just want to be nice to her this is a constant reminder to be really kind to her even though you hate her cuddles be nice like i'm so mean to her sometimes so i did that i seen this trend on tiktok i think it was kendall jenner talking about it and it's a constant reminder to be nice to her i go in between this lock screen and this one of me and bobby it's so cute of us at the wedding but let's keep it uh, to her because I've been pretty unfair to her today, so let's work on that. I'm so excited to have chicken fried rice for my dinner. It's a wee um, HelloFresh one that's like under, the ones that are like under a certain amount of calories. And a 20 minute one. Love. Perfect for me. I love those kind of meals. Um, I have that and then I'll go a wee walk with Charlie number. Guys, how satisfying is this? I just done sunny and white dry food and i just emptied it all and it looks so organized and like he's climbed up on the seat babe it's not for you it's not no it's you've had your dinner you as well get to you're not allowed in here bye bye and i also got this wee salmon oil from tiktok to put in the dry food and it's actually so good um sunny has like velvet 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 skin but dwight struggles with like dryness on the back of his like near his wee bum but he's actually looking amazing and your skin is super super soft isn't it you're so handsome look at my couch drying my living room looks bare with it my cushions are all piled up over there also look at all this rubbish i need to take around um yeah i'm just gonna make this easy peasy quick chicken fried rice i'm absolutely starving and um, this is our dinner chicken fried rice but i don't know if i've done this part right what do you call that monge too i don't know if i've done it right but anyway that's our dinner Guys, look at the beautiful sky. I'm going to meet Kelly and Amber to do a walk. I had to show you this gorgeous, and I'm wearing a light jacket and a wee hoodie. It's summer. Wow. Hey guys, I'm back my walk. I, I get my bow, oh, cheeky boy. And I'm just chilling. Here's wee Santi here. He was sleeping on me, and then I had to move him to get the camera. Say hello, wee boy. He's a <laughs> No, cheeky boy. Not I just went for the most relaxing bath. So by the way, Dwight Dorsh was barking earlier and interrupted me. But I had to wee ice cream. I had some lemon sorbet and nuts. Go check out my TikTok to see what I'm talking about. But it's amazing. Is this zoomed in? Anyway, I was going to go do some skincare after my bath. I thought I would show you. By the way, this deodorant, best ever. I put it on my TikTok and everyone's asking what it was is this it's five pounds expensive but it's worth it i got my sisters onto it and they said they've literally never used it as their children so that's good but anyway i'm going to do some skincare my tan is really itchy but i'm trying desperately not to scratch it all off my tan's really patchy but i don't want to have to scrub it off before the weekend so we're just gonna have to deal with patchy tan for the next few days and then i will scrub it and start again skincare time also do you like my new dressing gown it's a tecla one I love it, it's so cosy, but skincare is essential tonight because I've got a peel and I realised that this side of my face is still peeling, so I'm really going to exfoliate that tonight and do a mask. Am I? Yeah, I'm going to do a mask. I need to get the eyebrows a wee scrub, I feel like they're too dark. Um, I'm going to go in with this first. Okay, so I'm going to take, this is the, I need to actually clean it, but they're too um, This is the Zoe Skin exfoliating polish and it is absolutely unreal but I only use this like once or twice a week it'll do this <laughs> do you want to use this tonight? Yeah. I'm doing major skincare tonight like major major I was maybe going to dare my plane but I might do it tomorrow night okay so scrub that and then I'm going to wash that off and get a mask on I think I showed you this in the video from Manchester when I was doing this in Ruby oh my god it's still all over me I can't quote one thing about that is it's really, really difficult to get off. Right, I think that's a good amount. This is the wee mask I use. It's the complexion clearing mask. It's really good. Oh, I don't want to take my new brows. Hopefully 
hopefully that takes off all that excess skin. So I like a little smurf. And I have some wee chores to do, so I'll go and do the chores while this marinates. BRB. Bobby's done his skincare, but he wants to do it off camera. And also, it's just requested a little skincare package. They're actually cheap. But Bobby doesn't use things that I get them, he just wastes them, so I'm not getting them. So I'm just taking this off. You can just wet your face and take it off, but for the purpose of the video, I'm just doing it up here because I'm feeling some down low down there under the cap. Okay. Ow. Then I'm gonna go in with whoa well, I'm really pale now. I'm gonna go in with one of the complexion renewal pads. I actually have a new version of these which you can go like up a level basically with them so they're even stronger. But I'll wait till I finish these and then I'll move on to them because I only have like a few left at this point. How fun guys, IS Clinical um, that I use, like their moisturiser, seen my TikTok and they want to send me some bits out. What the hell? My moisturiser is £100, I can't tell you what that means to me to be getting that gifted because I really promote that moisturiser. Next up is a Caudalie Serum. Whoa, I think skin feels so clean. And then I use the Reparative Emulsion Moisturiser by IS Clinical, this one. Usually I go in with a bit of Isle of Paradise spray or Tarn Lux like, uh, drops in with my moisturiser, but tonight I'm just going to go tan free and just pile on the makeup tomorrow. Just because I feel like my skin is needing a wee break from tan. Love getting that thing on. I got the Oral B um, Legit Toothbrush. Uh, I love her. I love. You Guys, this is one of the best things I've ever bought. Do you want to try it, by the way? I've got another nozzle you can put on it. You just put water in it, it's like a water flosser. Okay, the last step of my routine is my current body mask. I absolutely love it. I wear it every night to bed. And that's how I look like. How are there? Oh, shit. There's some wires so crossed here. Good night, guys. Oh, I have a code for this. I'll actually leave it on screen. I think it's... I can't remember. I'll need to leave it on screen, but you can get, I think it's a 15% discount if you use my codes with this. Which is pretty good and it's like one of the best things that I've ever been gifted. It's so good, so relaxing and it makes my skin like oh so even. I can't even explain it. It's mm -hmm. really helped with my pigmentation, hasn't mm -hmm. it Robbie? Mm -hmm. Okay, night guys. Mm -hmm.